Chris, you said it's too early for nachos. It's never too early for nachos. <laughs> this is my jam here. This I is love your this. Thing right so, here. Taco John's is working to raise funds for cystic fibrosis. Look what they brought in for us. Some yummy nachos. Nachos Navidad. Mm -hmm. Megan Grunstrom joins us this morning. I think she's uh, in Minot right now. But we're going to talk more about uh, sort of this Nachos Navidad, which is fantastic. And then obviously the tie with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So Megan, thanks so much for joining us. If you don't mind, let's start there. Why Nachos Navidad and the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation? Well, Nachos Navidad was actually started a little over 20 years ago with Taco John's. They created the uh, menu item with the red and green chips that you see, which makes it festive. And about a year later, my sister was born with cystic fibrosis. And so um, my dad started the charitable part of the Nachos Navidad promotion. And he reached out to fellow franchisees throughout North Dakota and asked if they would like to help him raise funds for the Cystic Fibrosis Association of North Dakota. And they gladly accepted. And so we've been doing it for 20 years and, and we've raised a ton of money for a great cause. And then, of course, you guys are recognizable because you're in the commercials as well. Talk a little bit about how it's just really grown into something that has people talking about cystic fibrosis um, more than they probably would have otherwise without this great campaign. Yeah. Well, our first year we raised $2,500, and that was uh, 20 years ago. And fast forward to last year, we raised just over 27,000 for CFA. And so we're at a grand total of $250,000 that we've raised for Cystic Fibrosis Association. And it gets people talking about cystic fibrosis. Not a lot of people know what it is and how it impacts families um, with people who have cystic fibrosis. And so it's been a great um, money raising campaign, but also awareness campaign for everybody. You just kind of went and lead me in my next question. So for those of us maybe that aren't familiar with cystic fibrosis, what is it? And you mentioned how it impacts families. How does it do that as well? Well, cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that affects the lungs and the digestive system. And there is no cure. The average life expectancy right now is about 40 years. Um, that's up from about 15 years at, um, in the early 80s. So they've made a lot of advances, but like I said, there is no cure. And so all we can do is manage symptoms and um, there's a lot of medications involved and treatments involved with managing symptoms. Unfortunately, those medications are very expensive and um, it, it usually involves trips to Minneapolis if that's where the cystic fibrosis doctors are located. And it's very expensive for families to travel back and forth, to afford the medications, to afford the equipment for the treatments. And so the Cystic Fibrosis Association uh, helps individuals with cystic fibrosis and their families be able to afford some of those medications and treatments and travels. Um, they also have a scholarship program for cystic fibrosis children to go to college and earn scholarships towards that. And you get to eat nachos and help raise money for a good cause. Does it get any better than No that? kidding. <laughs> I love nachos. And I actually do get kind of excited about these festive nachos yeah. uh, during this holiday season. What a great partnership. And uh, just love what you guys do and, and starting the conversation, raising awareness, like you said, just to get people talking and, and help those families as well. Megan, one last question. So how long are the nachos, I love saying nachos Navidad, mm -hmm. how long are they available for? And um, how long so the money gets donated <laughs> throughout the entire month or how does it work? So um, the, the promotion ends on December 31st. We'll have Nachos Navidad through the end of the year. And it takes about um, two weeks for all of the North Dakota stores to kind of calculate how many Nachos Navidad we sold. Um, we also sell ornaments in the restaurant and hang them up throughout the restaurant. And so we'll figure out what our tally is and probably by mid-January we'll be able to um, see what we raised for cystic fibrosis and get the check headed their way. Sounds great. We'll get an update then in about a month. Good stuff. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Head to Taco John's, make sure you buy some Nachos Navidad and uh, you can help make a big difference with cystic fibrosis. Sounds like they're doing some great, great yes. work. Yes. All right, stay with us. Coming up next, we're checking in with the Homeward Animal Shelter to see who's up for adoption this week.